What's up friends? We're almost three quarters of the way of the year now and I can't believe it's almost over. There are some games coming out in August of 2023 but there's not too many but hey there's still some games right? And if you're new here my name is Jer, one half of the Ginger Gaming Duel and today I'm going to be talking about some games I'm looking forward to in August of 2023. A lot of these are RPGs so if you're into that along with Cozy Games of Jen do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. We're actually reaching almost to 2,000 subscribers, so thank y'all so much for the, all the love and support. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Baldur's Gate 3 is coming out on August 3rd, and I know what you're thinking, isn't the game already out on Early Access? There was a partial version of the game that came out for Early Access back in October of 2020 for the PC, Mac, and oh my god, the Stadia. Rest in peace, Stadia, by the way. If you're not familiar with Baldur's Gate, it's a rendition of Dungeons & Dragons in a role-playing system. Baldur's Gate 3 is an RPG that offers single and core multiplayer elements. You can create one or more characters and form computer generated ones during the story. You can also team up online with other players to form a party. It's crazy how the second game came out on September of 2001, where any of you were even born around this time frame. Anyways, developed by Larian Studios makers of Divinity 1 and 2, they have come to make Baldur's Gate 3. I have played Baldur's Gate 2 and compared to the original where it was turn-based, it will have similar mechanics from Divinity with Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rules. I'm quite excited to see how this game goes, but if you are a D&D fan and a fan of RPGs along with a successful franchise which has not made a Baldur's Gate game since 2000, this is one definitely worth checking out. Baldur's Gate 3 comes out on August 3rd on PC, Mac, and on September 6th for the PlayStation 5. Xbox will be coming out in the future as well too. WrestleQuest is an upcoming adventure old school turn-based RPG game but with wrestling. Now it's pretty interesting because when I think about wrestling, I think about WWE and also events like WrestleMania. This game actually has a purpose instead of smacking down Yo Candy Ass and it envelops a young wrestler that is embarking upon the dream to be a superstar in the wrestling business. You go through politics and challenges and hopefully find inspiration from actual legends like Macho Man, The Snake, and Andre the Giant just to name a few. The visuals are pretty stunning and it gives the 16-bit era vibes I got when I was playing a lot of Nintendo games back in the day. Developed by Mega Cat Studios says that their entire team working on this game is actually really into wrestling and just seems like a very cool and unique concept. Wrestling games aren't really my jam overall but this is a game I'm interested in seeing as I am very intrigued with turn-based games like this. There is a demo out on Steam and Xbox but WrestleQuest comes out on August 8th for PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, PC, and yes even Netflix. Now, this game has been out for a while now, but I'm going to be talking about Tower of Fantasy, which came out back in December 16th of 2021 for both the PC and mobile versions, but it's actually making its official release date for PlayStation in August. I was into this game for a good month or so when Genshin had a bit of a lead way before the new Sumeru region came out, but I did have fun with Tower of Fantasy. This is just like Genshin, but I guess you could say more high techy. It's a gotcha 3D role-playing game in third-person view, similar to a lot of games you might have seen or experienced has a hack and slash system where you swap characters and make combos to defeat enemies and bosses. There are three roles to play which are offense, defense, and support and you get a variety of stats that affect how you work together in a game. This is also a shared world so people who do coexist in your server can encounter with others to play and explore or do general missions and even fight bosses together. This is what makes the game so unique as it is PvP where you can compete against others. I'm not gonna lie I have no idea what the story is about still and I was into this game for a bit and was pretty lucky with some wishing for Samir and Nemesis when it first came out but eventually I got straight back into Hoyoverse and the side of things. It is free to play so if you use your resources wisely I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy the game without spending little to no money. You can play this game on the PC and mobile versions currently but Tower of Fantasy comes out on the PlayStation on August 8th of 2023. I'm pretty excited for this game and it's developed by Deck 13 Interactive called Atlas Fallen. It's a third person action role playing video game. You can create and customize your own avatar and the player is equipped with an ancient gauntlet which lets you control sand and you can actually shape the sand and turn it into weapons. And along the way you'll dodge, counter, and block attacks so it gives me a very traditional adventure game with some acquirement of skill. The game features open areas for players to explore and meet a variety of NPCs to complete their side quests and stories. 
With the gauntlet, you'll be able to glide through the desert. Also, a really cool thing about this game is that it includes two-player co-op multiplayer, which is very refreshing, and you don't really see this from a lot of RPG games. The game is not going to be like a Souls-like type of thing, where it's like Lords of the Fallen, which was developed from same developers. They want you to strictly focus on games with speed and fluidity and design, which were games like God of War. I do love me a good adventure game, and if you're similarly putting the game into the God of War category, then this one should definitely be worth a pickup. Atlas Fallen comes out on August 10th, 2023 on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Rainbow Skies is a strategy RPG with a very cool isometric style. Now, this game actually came out on 2018 on the PlayStation, but it will be making its debut on the Nintendo Switch next month. It's a colorful world with traditional turn-based battles. You can also tame monsters and hold a variety of different weapons, equipments, and skills. There will also be a bunch of customization and character development, so that's really, really exciting to see. You play as Damien, and he is in his final exam taming a monster which is a really big deal for his hometown which gets constantly attacked by monsters. I'm quite excited for this game as upgrading is emphasized and customization is extremely key for these games. It kind of gives me 2D monster hunter vibes as you can tame monsters and as much as this game has been released before I'm excited to see it go on the switch. You can also try out the demo and Rainbow Skies comes out on August 11th on the switch but you can buy the game already currently on the PS4, PS3 if you still have them. And finally Sea of Stars. I've mentioned this game multiple times during a few other videos, but here's just a brief overview of the game in itself. I'm so excited because I've mentioned this game so many times and it's literally just less than a month away now. But it's a single player RPG centered around two heroes called Valir and Zale, who use the power of the sun and the moon to fight against an alchemist. It's a turn-based role-playing game and has similar elements to games I've loved in the past like Chrono Trigger and Illusions of Gaia. The game includes things like puzzle solving, turn-based mechanics, and being able to control to up to six characters. You should still be able to play the this demo and I absolutely enjoyed it while I was playing it. The graphics and the music look beautiful and a nice side bonus is the game is actually composed by Yasunori Mitsuda which is the musician for Corona Trigger. This one is going to be absolutely a must buy for me and I can't wait to play this. It comes out on August 29th on the PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch which is going to be my preferred way to play this game. There are definitely some games coming out for August of 2023 and I'm definitely looking forward to playing some of them. Comment down below if you're looking forward to playing some of these games or maybe I've missed some on the list and if you're into videos like this here's one of me talking about some open world games i'm looking forward to and here's another one with jen talking about the new mmo cozy game palea and the new updates that are coming out my name is jer and i hope you have a great rest of your day or night bye bye y'all